Hi, everybody. All right, big day here. The first custom fuel line for the engine is in. This is the one that spans the number one and number two cylinders. Uh, this was sort of this is the phase one of the fuel plan. Let's go ahead straight to the picture of the line going around the prop governor bracket. There you can see it twists up around underneath the bracket and then the 45 degree fitting fits nicely into the T-joint at the number two cylinder. That looks great. Uh, since, th since this I have, or since I've installed it, I've had many people come by look at it, including a few A and P IAs. They all give it the thumbs up. Uh, here is ex-president Ken came by with the cutest corgi in the universe, Stephen. He gives it a once over and uh, yeah, we, we both agree it looks pretty good. So there's, there's four phases of this fuel line stuff, right? This is phase one. That line's on, and now that that's successful, there can be phase two. Phase two is getting the line that goes from the left bank of cylinders down to the fuel pressure regulator, and the stubby line that goes out of the number three cylinder, which we will tee off of that in phase three, down to the fuel filter. So we have to get the short line first to make sure that it's the right length. Then we tee off that through the back right baffle in phase three down to the fuel filter. And once the fuel filter is in place after that, phase four will be getting the very last line that goes from the other end of that filter over to the firewall. But we have to do them in that order. So we'll be done with the left bank after phase two. Phase three and four both have to deal with the right bank. And it's one of those things where we have to fit the line first to see if, because we have to move everything, right? Once we attach to the fuel filter, we can only move the fuel filter a certain distance and direction. So we have to get that basically in the most, in the best place we possibly can to avoid touching anything else. Then we can measure and get the fourth line that goes to the firewall. Hope that I hope that makes sense. All right. Uh, real quick before we keep going, a uh, small rant. Uh, to the little punk bastards that are messing with my neighbor's Christmas lights. You can go f yourself. And be lucky I don't stay out there at night with a pellet gun and shoot you little bastards. All right, so my la uh, neighbor Larry, sweet man. He's a, he's a Vietnam vet, same age as my father. He's 81. He's on a corner lot, and he loves to put up uh, his Christmas lights. And they look really good, you know, tastefully done. Got a tiny little sand on the roof from the reindeer. Well, some punks have been messing with his lights at night. And, uh, boy, I know if it was me, my dad would just beat my ass. All right, so now we're securing the line in place now that all the... Now that we've gone around the prop governor and everything is happy, now you'll notice one thing, the Adele clamps that we're using there have uh, the white uh, seal around them. So the regular Adele clamps just have like the black seal, the black rubber uh, grommet seal. Uh, the white ones are the high temperature version. So those are better at handling the high temps and anything that's going to be attached directly to this engine, uh, we're going to have the high temp clamps. In fact, I'm, I'm, now I'm actually thinking if I should replace the ones that are on the fuel hose with the high ones, high temps too. Possibly. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, there is one more anchor point uh, that's going to be along the center top of the case, but that's going to be way after we have to do the baffling and everything else, which will be in the future. So that's good. Uh, here's a quick picture of what the line looks like a little bit closer up, out in the sunlight. Looks pretty good, right? I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased. So, all right, hey, everyone having a good week. I will have another video probably on Christmas Day. So have a good uh, <laughs> Festivus. Uh, thank you for joining me. See you soon.